Starting off first, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Last year, 13-0, national champions. All kind of fun stuff. Nick Saban continues to do his thing. At SEC Media Days this week, he was joking with everybody. That tends to be a sign that he feels like he's got a pretty good team. But, man, they are young. Returning production at 120 out of 130 teams, or 127 that played last year. But tons of talent. Bryce Young taking over at quarterback. They lost Steve Sarkeesian, the offensive coordinator, to Texas. He took some of the staff with him. They replaced the offensive line coach, Kyle Flood, with Doug Maroney, the offensive or the head coach from the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the new offensive coordinator is Bill O'Brien, former head coach at Penn State, former head coach of the Houston Texans in the NFL. And I think that's... I, I don't want to say it's an upgrade because Sark was almost perfect at calling plays last year, but pretty good. I don't know what it yeah, means for this are, year. These are, these are two NFL head coaches. Yes. Yes, they're really good at coaching football. Yes, they are. Offense only returns three starters this year, uh, but they, they do have quarterback Bryce Young coming in, first-time starter, and, you know, I, he's going to have a ton of weapons around him. That's just the way that it goes, that they always do. Offensive line only returns one starter. That's Evan Neal, but, again, they got a lot of talent. Defense is where it's going to be this year. This will be the best unit that Pete Golding has ever had Eight starters back, and they bring in linebacker Henry Toa Toa. But they got stars all over, man. Malachi Moore, Will Anderson, linebacker, edge rusher. Uh, he's he's going to be a stud. Christian Harris, linebacker, All-American candidate. Defense is loaded. Offense is where you're going to be seeing new faces. But, again, schedule, difficult at the beginning of the year. You got all these new faces. You got all this new stuff. These These young guys that have not even played in full stadiums in two years. Some of them came in as high school freshmen last year. High school freshman this year, I mean, more than half your team has never played in front of 100,000 people in Gainesville, 100,000 people in, at Kyle Field. The number's 11 and a half. I got to go under the 11 and a half. I think it is way more likely that they lose a game than they go undefeated. Yeah, I completely agree with that. I just think this is a young team. Um, yes, you always reload, but to assume that it's just your birthright to go undefeated every year is just, just it's, not realistic. Yeah, it's not realistic. The SEC is getting better. A&M is really good. Ole Miss is really good. Florida should be really good. LSU should be better. Like, these are these are good football teams that yes. you've got to play week in and week out. The fact that you would lose a game is just more probable than not. Yes, I tend to agree. I tend to agree. So, with that said, we're both going under. And, hey, by the way, division odds, minus 275 to win the West. And conference odds, minus 150 to win the conference. Yeah. Like everybody else is plus money. Like no, yeah, that's give, an, yeah, I just think I just think the prices are are crazy. Yeah, yeah, I I tend to agree. Tend to agree. It's all hype built off built off last season. That's the way it goes. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.